Me Davis from Karambi Realty International. Another gorgeous day in, here in Hawaii. And today we're going to be bringing on Laureen Lynch, I've worked with for several years. Um, she was actually one of the pioneers for home staging. Uh, she opened her first showroom back in 2005 and had a, a beautiful furniture shop and then decided to go into staging homes. But before we go there, um, I just wanted to um, talk about my wheel of life. And one of the aspects of my wheel of life is always having, you know, a positive life. And one of the items on that list is the physical environment. And I thought that would be great to bring into today since we are going to talk about staging homes. There was a saying that Zig Ziglar said, it said, you were born to win, but to be a winner, you must plan to win, prepare to win, and expect to win. And I believe if we take that saying into our homes, where we want, for instance, children are going back to school next week, we want to make sure that they're focused and doing well at school, um, people are working at home more, they want to be more productive, yet we also want to have that peacefulness at home. So as we talk about staging today, you may want to think, you know, do I have my ideal desk set up? Um, does my um, peaceful environment make me just feel relaxed after I've worked at my desk at home? So these are all questions to ask. And one of the um, tips I'm going to give you this morning too, is if you go into Google search, and say, uh, basically go into peaceful downtime during COVID times or productive time. There's a zillions of articles on this and really great articles that you could read, you could share with your family, share with your children, but definitely worth having a look at. But anyway, I'm gonna bring on Lorene now. Um, and so we can go over um, staging at homes. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. You found, I'm here on the you're on the Big Island at the moment. Yeah, beautiful here today. Oh, beautiful. gorgeous! Really beautiful. Yeah. I know, gorgeous, yeah. and probably a little cooler than Oahu right now, where it's you are. Always, it's much cooler than Oahu. Here, yeah, <laughs> and the sun is shining in Hilo today. It's beautiful. Right. So we'll we'll go back right into it now, Lorraine, because we have so much yes. to cover. And, you know, why do you feel home staging is so valuable and getting top dollar for sellers today? Well, you know, the goal for staging is to emphasize the strength of a home and to sell the home in the shortest amount of time. And in order to accomplish that, you have to make a home feel good, uh, make it, make it um, just inviting. And you want the client to walk in and the buyer to see themselves living there. And that's what you try to establish in your staging. It stages, you know, staging sets the mood, it sets um, an illusion, and it sets the environment that they want to live in. So it's important how you work with the space, how you make it um, attractive to, and, and, you know, and enhance the features of the, of the home and the strengths of the home to the client. I've sort of seen, I've seen some statistics out there from the National Association of Realtors saying that you know stage homes um, sell 17% higher and sell mm -hmm. in 73% less of, uh, less time than homes that aren't stage. That's correct. It does. It increases the value of the home. Um, it spends 70. I think I read 73% less time on the market, which is I um, mean it sells faster than a vacant home. Um, so it's been it's it's very critical that staging happens in real estate now let me let me um pose this question um okay. you know we stage homes but there are some homes we keep vacant you know or yes. do minimal staging now why is that why is it you keep a homes vacant um i i think a lot of people want to see they they just i'm actually i don't want to see a vacant home <laughs> If I was a client, if I was a buyer, I wouldn't want to walk into a vacant home. I'd want to see a home and I'd want to be able to feel it and um, visualize Great. what it's like living there. Exactly. Yeah. So I, I know I've had a fixer up many years ago, um, uh -huh. actually on Bay on the waterfront there. And this is before I met you. Uh -huh. but, um, I learned it needed so much work that um, we had it all pretty up. 
And then I realized we were attracting the wrong bias. So what we did is we pulled everything out, showed it nice and clean and just put artwork on the walls. That worked. Because it yes. helped. <laughs> so it was staged, but we just put art on the walls. Right. We it's important. And I think if you can go in and accessorize it and, and bring a lot of light in, I mean, before you even stage, you have to walk into a property and you have to, um, you have to look at um, all the things it needs, it needs done, it needs repair, it needs painting, it needs to be deep cleaned, it needs a lot of light. So when you walk in, um, that's, you're going to see that in a vacant home, but you in accentuating it with artwork and accessories does help plants. So when you yeah. when you start a staging when you start a staging uh -huh. project like you yeah. know what you do what are some of the other items you think of when you go into starting the staging process? Um, it's, well, it's making sure that the home is in is in good repair and everything is uh, new fixtures, uh, new window treatments if necessary, and um, I go in and I try to conceptualize a design that fits that house whether it's a home that's an older home, the 1950s, uh, there's a lot of homes like that in Hawaii. And going in and um, working with that, that, that type of concept, um, whether it's Hawaiian, it's modern, contemporary. And um, yeah, so I do a conceptualization and, and um, I, I like to work on a more modern level now, more modern contemporary. So modern furniture, local art, and um, lots of accents and colors, and I like to work with neutral colors. And then, yes, and then you know, as you've worked with me, you know, I know how yeah. you know determining the buyer profile. You know, you, we've always you. One of the first questions you've always asked me is, you know, who's the buyer? Right. Well, you have an exceptional uh, talent for profiling your your client and knowing what the taste of your client is and the evaluation of their home. And with that information I get with you, and then we, when we collaborate and work together, and we work with the client personally, it, um, it just it makes the process easier. And, um, and it makes the process easier for the client to understand what, their need, you know, what we need to do for them as far as make, selling their home. And um, but yeah, it, so working with you makes a big difference because you do you do understand the profile. You know, it comes from you first. <laughs> Thank you. That was unexpected today. Thank you for that. No, you're welcome. I think you're it's 32 wonderful. years of doing this and working with lots of different people, of course. I'm actually now going to share my screen um, so you can comment on a couple of uh, jobs that you did okay, stage. Okay, that'd be great. Really, uh, it's a luxury condo and a luxury home in Kahala we had done. So let me yeah. put this on the screen. Okay. Okay. Yep. So the um, here's the uh, Punahou Cliffs. That was my favorite staging job. I love that. Oh, and did you want to make some comments? We've got the before and after photo over there. Yes, this is a beautiful penthouse apartment in Punahou, and it had spacious rooms, large windows, lots of light, um, wooden floors. It was nineteen. I believe it was nineteen fifties. It was built, right? It was at um, that time. It, it had was, a lot of yeah. It had no, a lot of actually, wood. Was, no, it was actually in. Believe it or not, no, it's not as old as that. But oh. it's it, it's in it's, the nineteen eighties. Yeah, it had a very very retro, you know, style place. Yeah, it had a very nice feeling when you walked in, um, and with the spacious and the high ceilings. So. We went in and modernized. It used a very modern, contemporary style. Um, we wanted to reflect the Hawaiiana uh, of Hawaii, because as you look out the windows, you see the city. You also see the mountains of Makikiki, you know, the trees. And so you wanted to bring Hawaii into the place. And we brought beautiful modern art that um, accentuated and, you know, the Hawaiian culture and lots of blues to bring in the sky a lot of sky and um you know it's funny because we knew the the buyer would be a local buyer and yeah. actually uh, one of my clients we'd been looking for a over a year for a single family home 
said he would never live in a condo. Right, I remember that. But I said, you have to see this. You have to see this. It's not like a condo. It's like a single family home. Yeah. And he is so happy there. There's a beautiful luxury building in Punahou area. Um, I'm going to take us to the house now, Lorreen, where the client did have some furnishings. And you can comment on what you did here. Yeah. Okay, so this house, so the, the house previous this was a uh, was completely empty. So this home here, Onkahala, was um, partially furnished. So we had to use the existing furniture of the client, which was great because you know it's. Um, and then we added a lot of new things into it. So we did a mix, a collaboration, and that's something you can do with staging. Is you try to work with the client if they don't want to, if they want to, if they have beautiful things to work with, it's, it works out great. Um, these were very big, spacious rooms, and we worked with a lot of neutral colors. And um, so you can see this one room is the before and the after, over to the left and the right on the bottom. So we opened that room up completely and took away all the clutter. And that's the most important thing about staging is getting rid of all the clutter, making it more very clean, giving, creating space and um, allowing that buyer to be able to come in and see and visualize what they can do with, you know, with the things that they have as well. And, you know, we talk um, about clutter and, um, you know, with this COVID, you know, of course, it dis disrupted how we used to live. And of course, we're going to be in this situation, I believe, over the next few years. I mean, it, I hope uh, not. <laughs> well, it won't be as bad as yeah. it is today, but you know, we're going to go through ups and downs with vaccines, with it maybe coming up a little bit. And, you mm -hmm. know, I think people will be working from home more. And how would you say, how can people have less clutter in their home, um, you know, and then set up a home office and and set a peaceful um, room, you know, just to be at peace and not as productive. What would you What would you suggest people to do now to bring their home together for that? You know, during this COVID time, I'm finding myself minimalizing a lot and getting rid of clutter and getting rid of things that are that are not important to my in, in my life and and you know, using looking at things as a more functional way. So when you set up an office, you make it functional. Um, create more space around you, um, you know, just organize the things that are important to you that you need. Um, and creating a peaceful environment is very important. Um, bringing in light, plants, um, and um, just, you know, have a calming effect in your home, keeping it quiet, peaceful, and having Bringing, bringing nature in or bringing nature outside, you know, you know live, having a more living area outside where you can sit outside and relax and be in the outdoors. It's always, you know, creating a space outside. Nice. And, uh, yeah. No, and I'm sorry, go ahead. No, no, go ahead. What I was going to do is share, we always have Marianne's photos um, at the end of our talk. And I wanted to bring those up now while you talk about peacefulness and bringing the outside. And, you know, it just, uh, let me go to the first picture up here. So as you can see, this picture brings a lot of warm emotions. And how do you, I'm going to flip through four photos here that Marianne's given us today. And maybe Lorraine, you can comment on some strategies, tactics for people to get their home in this state of peacefulness um, or if they need to be productive. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Bringing these beautiful pictures, the ocean, the mountains, palm trees, the um, trees of Hawaii is very effective, very calming. It's very, it's almost, it's also feng shui. And, um, it's, um, and I've yeah. known that when you go back to using local art, we've used a lot of local art like yes, this, right? Yes, we do. Yeah. Yes. So would you yeah. suggest someone to maybe, you know, take some of the photos they have taken in Hawaii and get them um, made up into a, a size of a pit put on their walls? Absolutely. I do that. I have beautiful photographs Ooh. that I have in my, my home and I frame and, and, and it brings me 
it takes me whenever we're having a, sh a shutdown, it takes me there, <laughs> you know, but it's yeah. nice. Well, I just wanted to thank you. Sorry. I'm just saying the ho our home is, is our, it's our place. It's our peaceful place. It's the place where we can find harmony and, and being with our families and spending more time with our families. And so it's important to bring as much of Hawaii into your home as you can and aloha and um, keeping it, keeping it just light and full of space and, and love. <laughs> well, thank, thank you for today. And this is, you know, about one of many series that we're going to be talking about staging and interior design um and i just want to thank you for your thank time you today very much i enjoyed it <laughs> yeah, I know. Okay. It's, it's, thank you and we'll be in touch okay. um, mahalo everyone have aloha. a great weekend aloha. thank you